It's said that steak au poivre originated in bistros in Normandy, France in the 19th century. It was a popular dish because of the reputed aphrodisiac qualities of pepper. To make steak au poivre, which translates to pepper steak, you will need a good quality beef steak. I like using filet mignon. You'll also need a lot of fresh, coarse, cracked pepper, some coarse salt, and some olive oil. For the pan sauce, you will need only four ingredients. One third of a cup of caldos, brandy or cognac, three quarters of a cup of beef, veal, or chicken stock, one third of a cup of heavy cream, and two teaspoons of unsalted butter. This recipe uses both cream and calvados, ingredients that Normandy is known for. You're going to start by adding just a little bit of olive oil to your steaks and rub it in on both sides. And now it's time to give a generous sprinkling of coarse salt onto both sides of your steak. This may seem like a lot, but you do need it for flavor. Once your meat is salted, it's time to add the pepper. You really want a generous amount of pepper. Press it in with your fingers. Flip the steaks. Same thing on the other side. Press it in with your fingers. Flip it again. Now using the back of tongs or some kind of tool, press the pepper into the steak. You want this pepper into the flesh so it won't come off in the pan. You want it to stick to the meat. Now put these steaks aside until you're ready to cook. I'm heating a little duck fat in my cast iron skillet and now that it's smoking hot it's time to add my fillets. These will cook about four minutes on each side. Turn them and continue cooking for another three to four minutes on the other side. Our steaks are beautifully cooked, so now I'm removing them to a plate, off heat, and I'll cover them lightly with foil. Now it's time to make our pan sauce. With the heat off, you're going to pour your um, alcohol into your pan, and with a wooden spoon, you're going to scrape all the wonderful caramelized fond off of the bottom of the pan. This is the foundation to your pan sauce. At this point, your alcohol can flame, so be very, very careful while it burns off. Once the alcohol has burnt off, it's time to put the flame back on to medium heat and add your three quarters of a cup of chicken broth, veal broth, or beef broth, and reduce this to about half. You want to keep an eye on your sauce as you're reducing your liquid. I like to bring it up to a hard boil about this point, but you don't want to walk away from it. This is the time intensive part of the pan sauce. When your liquid has reduced to about half, lower the heat and stir in one third of a cup of heavy cream. And now you want to reduce this as well. I've just tasted for seasoning and it's perfect to me. This is the time you would add more salt if you felt it needed it. I didn't feel it did. And you're going to add your meat back and all the wonderful juices. And you're going to flip them. And now one final ingredient before we plate. Two teaspoons of cold unsalted butter, just stirred into the sauce. And when the butter is fully melted, it's ready to plate. Start with a warm plate and lay down a beautiful generous spoonful of your pan sauce. Your steak, more pan sauce, and a sprig of rosemary, and it's ready to enjoy. 
This steak au poivre is an elegant and sophisticated way to prepare steak and it's sure to become a family favorite.